Okay, we, we are now live streaming. Magandang hapon. Once again, good afternoon everyone. Uh, today is Tuesday. Okay. Um, we'll be having a uh, surgical, another case of surgical procedure. Uh, this is a rare case of the day. Okay. Actually, this is a very rare case because this is an elbow, elbow arthrodesis, no? We seldom perform this procedure, but uh, mostly pantarsal, okay? Not elbow. Okay, so let's uh, start with the patient. Ito yung patient namin. Reverse my camera towards the patient. Let's see, one year old. Entak female, um, sorry, uh, if you share ko muna, no? I, I just want to share this muna to my, to my, uh, page. Uh, siguro dito na lang sa ating, uh, try ko muna i-share, no? Sa page, yung aming YouTube channel. Kasi, Hindi pa to masyadong ano ah uh, nakikita ng ating mga followers. So share muna natin from our YouTube channel to Facebook page. Yan. Okay. Wait lang. Mm, just sharing the uh, mm -hmm. Okay, this is one here uh, Get shareable link Kailangan natin i-share mo na so our um, followers, uh, subscribers, valued clients, pet owners, and uh, dog lovers, pet lovers um, can watch this video. Wait. Okay. Then back to our page. So I, I'm sharing this live streaming uh, in our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and my personal Facebook account and to our uh, clinic page so the owner can watch but uh, we are not able to live stream continues to our procedure this is just a, a short break um, introduction or um, history of the patient will just um, uh, discussing to you guys the history of the patient for uh, the purpose of uh, information and okay Okay, back to my patient here. The so one year old female entak pom I sorry. It's it's a Persian cat. Okay. So as you can see the patient is already um hooked to our gas anesthesia machine and um uh she's given with some medication, pre medications or pre meds like opioids and uh, tranquilizers and sedatives 
so we can have a good relaxed muscle during the procedure because we will be opening the joint no the elbow joint to expose the elbow joint and the articular surfaces because it's an arthrodesis it's not an easy procedure it's a bit uh, complicated or challenging case as we all know the, the elbow in dogs and cats is a very complex joint it is a consisting of three bones there the humerus the distal humerus uh, the proximal radius and ulna the olecranon and there is three joints there one is the uh, radio ulnar humero radial humero ulnar jo joint okay so three joints three bones and it's very complex and uh, it's not similar to other joints like the knee you know it's very straightforward when doing knee surgery so with the elbow there are anatomical uh, parts that we need to consider here the nerves of course the uh, radial nerves and the ulnar nerves and some important vasculatures no general uh, the branch of the uh, the uh, uh, axillary artery okay so the goal is to fix the elbow joint uh, the procedure is called elbow arthrodesis what is arthrodesis it is a fusion of the joint so it could be very um, um, uh, what we call this a uh, complicated procedure uh, we will um, cut some muscles uh, attachment of the ligaments and we have to uh, expose the the joint surfaces, articular surfaces, and we will uh, remove the cartilage, the articular surface, so to allow bone fusion. And also, we will apply a appropriate size plate for uh, rigid fixation and to help and allow the joint to heal. Ano? Kailangan natin ng fixator in the form of plates and scroll then we will also um, apply autologous bone graft so kukuha kami ng bone normally cancellous bone from the proximal humerus here no ito yung ito yung anyang elbow ito yung kanyang humerus here the radius and the ulna here the olecranon is here so our approach is lateral uh, from the from the uh, distal third of the humerus and caudal towards the proximal third caudal to the uh, ulna okay so just want to uh, also uh, let you watch this you know planning i have actually planned here but before this let me show you the uh, post trauma radiograph so in the left side here that's the that's the elbow okay this is the olecranon of the ulna uh, completely laxated or displaced from its normal position here. This C-shape, uh, we, we call this a uh, um, trochlear notch should be, should be located here. Okay, so we will be cutting bones uh, or stick to me no, to release the uh, the triceps muscles uh, some muscles on the lateral side and the medial side and as you can see also the radius together with the all uh, is displaced caudally and proximally at the caudal aspect of the distal humerus here is the 
uh, been through dorsal view, I think, a uh, both right and left forelig. This is the right normal joint, normal elbow, and this is the left elbow with a dislocated uh, no, uh, joint. So as you can see also, uh, that's why the uh, carpus is not little to the carpus on the right because of the displacement of the bones of the forearm, the ridges and the ulna displaced proximally. So it looks like shorter than on the opposite leg. Okay, so I made a plan, a pre-op plan. So we have a guide for the surgery. So here I have measurements. I also made some uh, uh, make a uh, what we call this on the apps to realign the bone the joint here and that's the uh, supposed uh, location of the elbow we will remove the olecranon we will cut that and uh, we will apply the plate over this area on the caudal aspect of the humerus distal humerus towards the proximal third of the ulna and we will apply some scrolls no and we have also measurement here on the uh, width of the radius so we know what types of plate or what size of plate we're going to use. And normally, the angle is very important, no? The sagittal view, of the, the sagittal plane of the angle of the leg. In a normal standing position in a cat or a dog, I think it's about 110 to 120 uh, degrees, no? Angulation. So uh, we need a template to measure this angle and we can use a template for the plate, you know, for the plate, um, bending of the plate prior to application. So it should, it should be at the right uh, anatomical position by bending the plate and applying it here on the lateral side. So it's about 110 to 120 degrees. So, okay, let's start. And thanks for watching. We can uh, make a separate live streaming for the procedure because it takes time and it could be very boring for, what, for those who watch to uh, see graphic images, opening the elbow, making uh, fixation and cutting the bones and removing some cartilages there. It will take time for us. Okay? Thanks for watching.